Welcome to Fort Fun Friday Facts, better known as Huff, Huff, Huff. Mark and Brady Aspinall <laughs> with Living Colorado Elite, part of Berkshire Hathaway Colorado Real Estate. So glad you have joined us this beautiful Friday afternoon. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> Hey, um, as it's cooling, right? Woo, yeah. yeah, it's exciting. So as we are progressing into the mm -hmm. fall months, and it's a fantastic Friday, I love this weather. I don't know about many of you. Love this it. is love it. This is some of my favorite weather. You can put on a little bit of a yeah, throw on a hoodie, hoodie or no, yeah, fantastic, it's great. Yeah. Uh, 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 you get a little showers. Hopefully, we get a little more rain for the fall season. However, before it just dumps snow. Uh, with that being said, the best, one of the best places that I think in Fort Collins to go look at the changing of the leaves. The best. Huh? It's obviously the best. Yeah. If you like it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Is down Mountain Avenue in oh, yeah. Old Town. So you can drive straight down Horse Tooth, but when you get down into Old Town, down Mountain Avenue or Laporte in those areas with the the trees that have been there for so long and it just starts changing color and it's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, there is a little boutique inn that is down off of Mountain Avenue and it is something to experience and have fun just steps away from mm -hmm. Old Town Square. So. If you are looking at taking a little bit of a break, having a weekend getaway, even if you want to kind of do a, not a staycation at your house, but a staycation here in Fort Collins and go sit, enjoy the changing of the leaves, the Edwards um, house, and it is, it's pretty cool. It's a historic home that was built by, um, if you will, the Edwards, but it was built in 1904. And so it has a lot of, a lot of historic charm. It went from um, the home and um, relation to the Avery. So the Avery house, if you've ever seen that. So it went from a home to a bed and breakfast. And now it's kind of been renovated and put into a really just a cute little boutique luxury inn. Nice. The service we've heard or what has been reported is fantastic. Built it for six thousand dollars back in nineteen oh four. If we could have today's wages with yesteryear's prices, right? Would be, would be yeah, awesome. I'd build a house for six thousand. Yeah. So you have a lot of homes around here that are kind of Victorian, or but this one is actually um, a, a neo classic kind of Denver type home and it's just uh edwards he was the president of the state board of agricultural and and water mm -hmm. in larimer county he actually married in uh into the avery family anyway the the sister of huh, i'll have to read that so uh and was able to to build this i guess really delightful little nice. boutique in now so um, let me get you the exact address. It's 402 West Mountain Avenue in Fort Collins. And I'm sure they have the history of it going through from it being built in 1904 to the Edwards family resided in the home until 1981. And then they um, sold to a group of investors and they expanded it into the accommodations of the bed and breakfast in 1993. And then in 2014, it turned into this um, boutique Inn. So fus yes. fusing modern elegance and Victorian charm and protecting the historical significance of a local gem. Fantastic. There you go. Go experience well, the fall colors. And if you missed any of this or want to read up more in the history, go to our blog at fortfunfridayfacts.com. Uh, help support us so that we can support you guys in everything that is going on in Fort Collins, Northern Colorado. Yeah. It's great. We love, love, love this. Yes. Site, so. Yes, we do. Cool. All right. Well, moving on, we'll hit some market news really quick. Market news. Gotta, market news. Market news. I gotta find the market news. What are we? What are? We, what are you looking at for market news? I don't know. I lost okay, it. Okay, he, he lost his market news. Oh no! 
Are we losing it in the market too? No. no. <laughs> Correct answer. <laughs> oh, here we go. Got it. So if you haven't ever been to our website before or not in a while, go over to livingcoloradoelite.com. We are doing a whole bunch of changes, including a lot of different market updates and stories and news for you to better educate yourself on what's going on in our ever changing, evolving market. Yeah, because he's kind of a big deal and he's doing all that stuff and I just smile and nod and it's actually brilliant when I go on and it's see what awesome. he's doing with the website. It's exciting. Go review it and then let us know what your thoughts are too. Yeah. That'd yeah. be great. Or what you'd like to see in the future. Yeah. Coming on the page. Absolutely. Yeah. So why buying a home right now? Why buy a home versus renting? and why it makes more sense. You know, we've talked to a lot of buyers right now out there in the market, and it's, it's evident in certain areas that some buyers aren't really ready to take the plunge right now with interest rates rising. We talked about this the other day. Yes, interest rates are going up. However, there's more inventory available right now. There are more mortgage options mm -hmm. for all buyers right now. So it's best to take advantage of this time while you can, Marry your house, date your mortgage. You can always refinance as mortgage rates drop and they will drop eventually. So why buy a home versus rent? Well, the first and most obvious answer, and this is all on our blog today as well, if buying a home can help you escape the cycle of rising rents. Rents have steadily been going up since 1988 and there's no change of that in sight. Rent is going to keep going up. It's the nature of the beast, I guess, so to speak. Um, so, yeah. So let's bite that. Well, well, when we say, you know, um, marry the home, date the rate, what you're doing there is you know that you know that rentals are going to continue to go mm -hmm. up be within the inflation, within the economy. And the difference when you have your mortgage or your rate on your mortgage is you get to when those mortgages fluctuate you get to have a really great mortgage or if it goes lower you get to refinance mm -hmm. or you can there's things that you can do and you control that and you're locked in that rate for mm -hmm. whatever time frame you have on that mortgage and so you're not fighting with the, oh, we're not going to allow pets anymore. We're not going to, um, no, we can't fix that unless we raise your, you know, raise your rental rates. I have someone who's going to be coming in, you know, yours is up and no, you can't renew because I have someone coming in who's going to pay double what you're paying right now. So no. you can meet that or find somewhere else. Like there's a lot of uncertainty that can be squashed when you own your mm -hmm. home versus renting. Rentals are great. I'm not saying they're not great. It's just you as as an individual, what are your dreams and goals for your financial future? If it is home ownership right now is a fantastic time to buy. Yeah. Yeah, they did they ran a survey and found out that over 72% of all landlords are planning on raising their rents in the next year. You know, it goes back to you don't know necessarily what you're going to pay two years from now on rent. You know if you buy a property what your mortgage is going to be. It's going to be that or lower. And the only thing that changes is taxes and insurance. And that changes anyway. So it's one of those that it just makes sense. The other and third kind of final reason is it really is kind of the keys to building long-term wealth for you or your family. It's... I know for Brandy and I, we took that leap when we first got married of buying our first house. And was it everything we wanted? No. Is it something we could afford? Yes. So yes, you know, if you're if you're doing the comparison model, don't don't ever compare this year to last year because it never is going to turn out to be anything positive for the most part. But go for a property for a mortgage that's equal to your rent now, and you will save so much money in the long run, and yes, you'll just gain and build your wealth that way because the equity in your home is always gonna go up. If it drops, it's gonna drop for a very short time, and historically, Colorado has been one of the strongest markets, so do not fear. No fear. 
That's all we got. That's all we got. Woo! It's exciting. It's an exciting time in our, it's such an opportunistic market, you guys. Mm -hmm. We could go on and on and on about how fantastic the timing is right now. So when you're listening to news about different markets, we've kind of harped on this. Call us, text us, reach out to us so that we can really narrow down what your dreams, goals, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, how would it feel in a year from now to be able to say, I have my own place. Yeah. I can do my own decorations or I can put in my own shed that I've wanted for my woodwork or I can store my RV units or I can put horses on the property. What does that look like for your future and how would that feel to you to be able to mm -hmm. move forward within that, within that dream? And so call us, let us know where you're at. We've had a lot of people reaching out just saying, I don't know if I can afford it, where do I start? And so we have a plan for you to start and whether that's tomorrow mm -hmm. that you're ready to roll or it's in a week or a month or six months, we're here to help you through that plan and succeed in what your dreams are. Yeah. So let's do this. Awesome. Now on to the news. The news. This week's news is a special one. Another Guinness Book of World Records was smashed. World Records record was smashed by a pair of daredevils walking a slack line. Walking a slack line. So a slack line, for those of you that don't know, is similar to a tightrope, except it's usually a wider band that is not always as taut, I guess I should say, as Ooh, what a traditional tightrope would be. It's a little bit wider. That was very You usually don't have British, special shoes English for you. you You're just in barefoot or tennis shoes, so it's actually a little bit easier, I believe. But with my sense of balance, it wouldn't matter anyway. So anyway, <laughs> these two gentlemen, Rafael Bridi of Brazil and Alexander Schultz, they don't say where he's from, so apparently he's not important enough to say well, mention where he's from. Sorry, Alexander. Sorry, You're Alexander. important to us. Uh, they earned the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest slack line walk over an active volcano. Oh. So if they... Wait. Question. Uh-huh. Okay, there's so many questions. Yeah. Yeah. They broke the record, which means there was already a record for someone walking a slack line over a volcano. They weren't the first crazies to try it. Okay, so, so here's the thing. Yeah. I need to know... Mm-hmm. How wide that volcano was? So it was 856 feet. Across. Across. Suspended over 137 feet in the air. Okay. Over did the actual Did they make crater. it or did they fall off? And they, did they have like safety harnesses so they don't fall into the... There better not be a safety harness because then that's cheating. You'll have to go on the video and, and I find have, out. I have to. Because I'm yeah. thinking... Yeah, the link will be in the blog. What, the video will be in the blog. They fall off and they're uh -huh. lava mush. Yeah. Yeah, Brady uh, actually holds the world record for the highest slackline walk ever. He, I believe, last year walked a 59-foot line suspended between two hot air balloons at 6,236 feet in the air. So, question. Yeah. Does it just have to be a slack line in the air somewhere? Or did it have to be over a volcano? Like, is there a specific this category? This one for was us? specifically over an vol active volcano. Not just over a volcano, over an active volcano. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why? Because they're nuts. Why? If I go down for something like that and f for fame, if I'm doing something just to get my... I don't think that would be it. Why do you ride horses? Maybe to these guys, you're nuts. <laughs> I mean, yeah, probably not. Maybe, but if you're nuts enough to go walk across a slack rope over an active volcano, I'm yeah. pretty sure riding horses is not nuts to them. Well, not crazy enough. Raphael and Alexander, we salute you. Great work. Excited to see what crazy <laughs> stunt you pull next. And that's a wrap for Fort Fun Friday Facts, better known as... 
Uh, Mark and Brady Aspinall with Living Colorado Elite, part of the Berkshire Hathaway Colorado Real Estate Group. Be amazing. <laughs> Have an amazing weekend. And we will see you Monday for Monday Morning Mindset, better known as. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Bye.